guys, welcome back to Solomon's TV Log. You scared me. Today, we're, did I scare you? No. That was horror. Horror. Anyway, this week we're talking about the new Age of the Shield episode, A Wanted Inhuman. But Inhue is in... A Wanted Inhue man. Because he's a wanted man. Because he's a but wanted man, he's but also, he's inhuman. He's also an inhuman. They're fucking clever. They're so clever. It's like Joss Whedon wrote that episode title. Probably did. They probably called him. I was like, "Hey, Joss, can you do something on the show for fucking months?" And he's like, "All right, shit, fine. What do you want? Got in episode three? Sure. Okay, I want an inhuman. There you go. But put inhuman in parentheses. Thanks, Josh. You're real. Josh, you're real fucking help. No problem, dickbag. That's his brother. He's talking to you, by the way. <laughs> All right. His so brother's not the showrunner. So we start this episode off. Lincoln is being chased. Lincoln is being by chased by the ATCU because they're all like inhumans need to be captured. Because they think Lincoln killed all the people in the hospital. He didn't. But he didn't. Because we know it's Lash. It was but Lash. Lash hasn't shown up in the last two. No. Because uh, I can't afford this fucking costume for more than like thirty seconds <laughs> in shadow. <laughs> um, uh, Simmons has weird PTSD. Her body is- I wouldn't call it weird, I think it's normal for somebody who got trapped in another planet. But I'm saying it's weird- Way to like, be insensitive, you It's prick. weird in that her body physically has to readjust back yeah, to no, the atmosphere. Because the Kree homeworld- I'm calling it the Kree homeworld because- not what it is. I'm calling it that. It hasn't been confirmed. Okay, Hala- Neither confirmed nor denied that it's the Kree homeworld, we don't know what it is. Okay, fine, fucking the obelisk world, not the obelisk- Monolith. Monolith, obelisk dude. They need to stop fucking naming things in the show The Blank. They're too, the bus, the monolith, the obelisk, the fucking fridge. To be fair, a lot of superheroes are just the something. I know, like, but the like... the Iron Man, the Hulk, the Mighty Thor. Okay, he's not the Iron Man, he's the Iron Man. He, some people say the Iron Man. They're wrong. Point is, Simmons has to readjust to Earth's atmosphere and gravity levels and shit. She keeps breaking down and Fitz keeps comforting her. Because uh -oh. Fitz is a good, not-quite-boyfriend. <laughs> Um, so... D just fucking date and get it over with! Like, Christ, stop jerking me around like this! Just do something! Kiss her, you fool! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is anyway... Going on, this is going on for three goddamn days. It's Ross and Rachel all over again. S.H.I.E.L.D. wants to bring Lincoln in, because they're like, we need, we need to, because the ATCU is hunting Lincoln, they're like, let's, we need to get to him first so the ATC doesn't hurt him and stuff. Uh, meanwhile... Oh wait, no, wait, one more one more thing. Uh they they like they call him at one point. Yeah, they because, call him because um during like what like the last episode of season two when uh what's his name? Mac. Mac like grabs him. He apparently put a tracker in his arm. Somehow. Somehow, without know, him noticing. We don't know how. So they're able to keep track of his location and they call him up and he's like, How did you get the number? Blah 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 blah. And then he shocks the tracker out of his arm because he has lightning powers. He's like electro, but not Meanwhile, meanwhile, Hunter and May Hunter, are trying to Hunter hunt and May are bonding. Ward. They're bond. They're bonding. They're, they're bonding. They're trying to get. They're into trying Hydra. to hunt down Ward. So they want to. They want to like break into Hydra, and then they, so they go to this bar. So right? they go pub crawling. They go pub crawling, <laughs> and and Hunter he has a, he has a friend who's like I don't know what are they British or Australian? They're British. British. Okay, they're very British. British. Uh, they're anyway, very so they start British. drinking, and May says a joke like, "You guys are already hard enough to understand." And then subtitles come up on the screen for their <laughs> stupid ass British accents. Because and I'm so like, Trump, they need subtitles. I'm like, not. I don't know if this is offensive or not. I feel like this should be offensive. <laughs> but if they Joss, like subtitle them because they're. If Joss like, Whedon had a part in this episode, it was that part. But it's like weird because like I, there's subtitles on the screen, but I can understand exactly what they're saying. I'm like, I don't need these subtitles. I feel like I should be really offended at this, but I'm not sure. Um, and then, so... La, 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 la. So they're trying to get into so Hydra. they're trying to get into Hydra. This guy has a plan to get them into Hydra through some Fight Club style Yeah, so Hunter thing, beats the shit out of them. But I don't really understand. Hunter beats the ever-living shit out of them. I don't, I don't understand why or how, but somehow fighting to the death in an, in an underground arena the thing gets them Point is, Hunter beats Hydra. the ever-living piss out of him. We'll get there in a second, though, because we flash back to, um... Lincoln is being framed for Lashes killing the Inhumans, right? So he calls up his... It's his AA sponsor, I looked yeah, it up. Yeah, his AA sponsor. Yeah, his AA sponsor, who I thought was his dad for a while, but, like, yeah, it, it was He wasn't. looks old enough to be his dad, uh, he's his AA sponsor. The point is, he takes... he's like, I need you to, like, help me out and stuff, and they... they, they he goes and he hides out, um, with him. Yeah. 
But he doesn't know Lincoln's an inhuman. He doesn't know Lincoln's an inhuman until he see, and then he's like, "I'll do whatever you want. Like you're cool. Like you're my friend. You're I know you're friend, a good guy." Whatever. Then he sees one thing on the news about oh alien fucking dude on the loose, and he's like, "Oh shit, better betray my friend." Okay, and then he's like, "I've called, I've called the hotline, so you better just stay right there." And he picks up like a baseball bat, and he's like, "Don't fucking go anywhere." And then Lincoln just shocks the bat out of his hands, and then he has a heart attack and dies. And I'm like, oh. Lincoln's <laughs> life isn't very good right now. Lincoln's in a bad spot. Lincoln's in a bad um, spot right now. So Daisy, having not known about the tracker that was placed on Lincoln, is, it's kind of pissed at Coulson for that. So there's kind of in this episode, throughout this episode, kind of this like wedge being driven between Daisy and Coulson. Because Daisy's like, I can't, why are you doing this? These are my people, these are my humans, why would you fucking do this? And then Coulson is like, because we gotta do it, man. We can't just like let them all run around and we can't let Lincoln get hurt and stuff. And meanwhile, Coulson goes and has a meeting with Rosalind. Because uh, Coulson's all like, I'm sick of fighting with people over this shit. Because yeah. this has happened enough to me, I want to actually try and make peace. So, so he goes and he meets with Rosalind. And Rosalind is like, yo, guess what? I have a picture of Daisy on a fucking security camera. So she blackmails him. And then <laughs> Coulson's like, we have to let them... We have to let them take Lincoln. We have to let them take Lincoln. Essentially. And uh, Daisy's pissed. Daisy's not happy about da that. Daisy is not Lincoln's happy. Lincoln's also not happy because he like straight up electrifies and kills like every person there. Yeah. Not kills, but you know, just yeah. not the way. Uh, um, oh, also they kiss. Yes, also... Daisy and Lincoln have, like, a moment that's, like, kind of awkward. They are going to have it. beautiful and human babies. <laughs> they just, like... They are going to have weird, freaky, lightning they have this weird, like, They have this weird, like, Twilight-esque back and forth of, like, Oh, I can't be a fucking inhuman. Uh, oh, it's so oh, awful. Thanks. And then Daisy's like... <laughs> <laughs> and Daisy's like, you showed me that I could be me. Oh, and then you're like, smooch, and then the sex. I feel like that's kind of been there, because <laughs> since she met him at the uh, the Paradise Place, I feel like yeah. that's kind of been there. I didn't really like Lincoln at first. Like, when I he first showed up, I was I like, like hey, hey, you're weird. I don't, you're stupid. But then this episode, is awesome. Yeah, this no, this episode, I feel fucking bad for him. Um, he's, he's like an alcoholic, and he's tried to kill himself before, and... There's a lot of meanwhiles in these Agents of Shield episodes. A lot yeah. of them have like three separate things yeah. all happening. So meanwhile... Simmons is all like being su he's she's super sensitive. She goes into the lab and there's like she like hears the clinging of sciencey stuff and she's like, oh, it hurts my ears. Ah, oh, fuck, because she's like readjusting. And she's she like, oh, I, there's too much shit. I can't focus. So Fitz takes her on the date. So Fitz takes her on that date where he has apparently held this reservation at this restaurant for months now, and he Fitz is the greatest out, boyfriend in the history of the he, world. He really is. He buys out the entire place so that it's just him and Simmons. And then, like, the one, the, the waiter, like, pours the wine, and she just, like, breaks down crying. And I'm like, oh, don't do that. That's sad. And then he comforts her, and even after all that, she still doesn't put out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I kidding. don't think that's I'm, the highlight I'm, of the episode. I'm, I'm kidding. Fucking bitch. Anyway, I'm kidding. so Hunter, I'm kidding. Hunter and May, back to them. Yeah. Hunter, Hunter was like, because they, they go to, like, the fight club thing where, like, Hunter has to fight in the arena, and they're like, and he's like, well, we don't, we can't have you fight in the arena because if. If uh, Ward finds out, if Ward hears about you know like a really small Asian chick beating the fuck out of the people in the arena, then a he's small, obviously gonna know it's you. So a small he's like, Asian I'll chick fight. he used to bang. A small Asian chick he used to bang, then he's gonna know. So he's like, I'll fight in the arena. You just do whatever. And then she, but but then like some dudes kind of like, I guess hit on her, but like it's kind of like a creepy rapey kind of hit on. Uh, and they take it's her into, like, English, guys. It's probably rape. So they dig her into the back alley, and she kicks the fuck out of them, and it's awesome. And then we come back, and we see Hunter's kind of getting the shit kicked out of him. They're both really bloody, and then he puts on these brass knuckles and punches this guy in the face a few times and kills him. Yeah, actually kills uh, him. Like, really hardcore fucking kills him. Um, and then he gets taken into... And I guess... Ward. The Hydra, he meets He meets with the Hydra guy, the, the one, like, yeah, black, the, 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 the one black guy in all of Hydra. Ward's BFF. <laughs> Ward's BFF. Um, uh, and now I guess Hunter is a part of Hydra now, undercover. I guess. Or something. That's a thing. That's a thing um, now. So, and then the last part of this episode... Is Bobby coming Bobby back? Bobby comes into the lab and sees Simmons there. And Sim and, and then she's doing something with like the rock and she's like analyzing it and something. Bobby's like, you're, you're safe now, you're here. And she's like, you don't understand. I have to go back. 
What? What? And then the episode ends in the Please don't call back, Simmons. <laughs> this is being so nice to you. You two are so cute together. Just fucking get it over with. Like, Jesus. Like, it's... You're jerking me around here and stop. Like, Fitz, if you don't do something, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> like, straight up. I don't, don't think you're her type. No, shut up. I'm totally her type. I'm geeky. I'm awkward. I'm just like Fitz, except I'm not Irish. And also, you wouldn't go to an... Af a, 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 what the fuck? Alternate dimension? No. Well, yeah, also that, but the, the I was talking about, like, the... Af you wouldn't go to Afghanistan and, like, talk with terrorists to, like, get... I a might! Thing with the paper on it. I might! <laughs> Simmons is proud right. my wife on that show. Alright. So, what did you like, Matt? Well, aside from the Fizz and Simmons stuff, which is pretty obvious, because I didn't like the sappy, crappy moments of episodes. Hey, it's not South Park, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's not South Park, it's shield. Fuck, it's fine. There's no dick jokes in this episode, it's fine. Well, there weren't any dick jokes in the episode. Um, there weren't any poop jokes, so I guess sappy stuff is fine. I like how Colson is actually. Being like, you know what? I don't want to fucking fight people anymore. I just want, I just want yeah. to work with Ross it's, on it's, this. It's kind of like, like I heard this analogy. Um, it's kind of like Coulson and Rosalind are like. It's kind of like your friend starts dating this chick, but like everybody hates that chick. Yeah. And you're just like, oh god, that chick. Why but would I, you but do I that? feel like Coulson's <laughs> smart here in doing this because I agree that like, had he not like reached out and been like, hey, maybe we should like work together on this, I feel like it would have been a lot worse. Yeah. Because, like, in situations like this, when they always do this in shows like this, it always ends up a thousand times worse when the good guys oppose this other faction that's doing, like, the exact same thing they're doing. Yeah. So I feel like working with them is probably a lot smarter. I really, I, I did like the scenes between him and Rosalind. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I, totally, I, totally, I totally, I totally shit him and Rosalind. Um. I lost my train of thought. I like Lincoln scenes. Lincoln scenes were Lincoln, good. Lincoln was really good. Lincoln was really good. Like the first scene where he's just like raining lightning everywhere. Is really yeah. Cool. Um, <sighs> excuse me. Connor is gassy. Yeah, <laughs> so he, he apologizes. Uh, I kind of feel like part of what's going to drive Daisy and Coulson apart is Coulson and Rosalind. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it's heading in a direction where we're going to get a Daisy versus Coulson type mm -hmm. scenario where like. Daisy and Oliver and humans and S.H.I.E.L.D. are gonna, like, butt heads. And yeah. And kinda, like, duke it out. You mean, like, last season when humans fought S.H.I.E.L.D.? No. <laughs> Cause that's, that's exactly- I mean. That was exactly the last season. Except it was- it, except it- well, actually, that would actually be interesting, cause then it would be Daisy's kinda mirroring what her mother oh, did. Oh, that's true, yeah, that would be so, cool. So, that- I think that would be kinda cool. Um, but it's just- it, it's cool to see in this episode the, the kinda, like, the separation between her and Coulson. Yeah. Cause, cause Coulson was like a dad to her in like the first season, where like she like he like picked her up and was like, yeah, you can join Shield and stuff. And now that she's an Inhuman, and Coulson is like joining Rosalind, who doesn't have the best reputation with Inhumans. It's like, why are you doing that? I feel like uh, Dad's got a new stepmom that you fucking hate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like that. Um, anything else? Uh, I like the scenes with May and Hunter. They were they were cool yeah. because they kicked ass, and especially May kicking the shit out of like five dudes and and the British subtitles. The British. It was I just still so... don't know if I should be offended by that. Oh, you should definitely, <laughs> but like it's okay because like. Also, Rosalind has a him car. Yeah, like <laughs> like she brings up like a really old car like Coulson's Lola, and Coulson is staring at you like, hey, eyes up here. He's like, sorry, you know, does she have a name? And she's like, it's a car, Coulson. Also, it's a him. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> she's like anti Coulson all the way. Yeah, she's like, like everything the about her. Opposite everything Coulson. about her is just completely anti Coulson. She also called him at the end there. She was like, just making sure you didn't give me a fake number or anything, like a really clingy like fucking girlfriend. I'm like, oh jeez. God, they are so gonna fuck. <laughs> Like, God, they, they are, like, just so, like, mmm. Like, they're like that couple in the movies that, like, always fight. Like, they're, not, they're like, okay, the A couple's, like, the one that's, like, we're all lovey-dovey and shit, and, like, we're gonna get together in the end. They're like the B couple that's, like, they hate each other, but in the end they hook up. Mm -hmm. Like, they're like Sam and Freddy from Mike Hartley. Like, they hate each other, but they also fuck each other. All right. Um, cons. Um. What didn't you like, Matt? Um. Um, come back to me. <laughs> you do yours first, so I think. <laughs> um, 
There's no Lash, first of all. There's no Lash. There's no Lash again. Which I feel like if Lash is gonna be this big a villain in this series, I feel like we should have seen it more of him by now. Yeah, time. we should have seen more of him by now. Um, hopefully they're up. He's gonna be next. He's gonna be the next episode. Maybe. Yeah. yeah the next be episode looks very Lash heavy, but like, yeah. I I I'm hoping they updated the costume so it looks less weird and like goofy. He looks good in the shadows. Yeah. That's why they hit him in the shadows a lot in the first episode. Yeah. I feel like maybe they're updating his costume between nah, episodes. Because Reyna's, Reyna's costume looked really good. Yeah. So I kind of hope they do something along the lines of that with Lash. But like, um, yeah. My other thing, the Lincoln Daisy romance. Yeah, that was super is awkward. Is a little weird and yeah, awkward. It's super awkward. It is a little like Twilighty to me. I feel like it was kind of like a spur of the moment. Like, and we were the you like, were the first inhuman to admit, let's fucking make out and do the sex. I feel okay. They didn't have sex. That didn't happen. <laughs> I feel like it was kind of like our emotions are like high and like we're gonna just both her breath just. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Also, no Joey. Joey's not back yet. No Joey. No. I miss Joey. No Warner von Strucker. Yeah, no, no him either. No Maze ex husband. There wasn't a lot of payoff of stuff that they set up in the last episode. Yeah, no. This was uh, more set up for more things, and it's yeah. like, how much setup are you gonna have before we get some payoff? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was just. The setup shit kind of bothered me too. But I do look forward to seeing what Simmons does with this monolith stuff because that's the more interesting part to me is like, what the fuck, Simmons? And I also why, why would you go back? That sounds like a horrible idea. And I also look forward. Did to... you like leave your driver's license over there or something like? Like, is there know. another Fitz over there that you want to go and see? Are you cheating on Fitz, you bitch? Uh. I'm sure she is. And Simmons is a very, Simmons is like one of my favorite characters. In the show. See, I absolutely this love. is this is where the separation happened. I'm like, did you drop your keys or lose your driver's license? You're like, did you fucking cheat on your boyfriend while you were in did another situation? Did you cheat situation? on Fitz? He's doing so much for you, <laughs> son of a bitch! You clingy motherfucker. All right. Any more cons you can think of? They're adorable. Fuck you. Oh, uh, I know. That's that's it. I think. Uh, All right. So I think that does it for us. So that's this one. What was it called? Wanted inhuman. A wanted inhuman. So we'll, next week, do the same thing again. Next thing, do S.H.I.E.L.D. again. Well, not next week, because I'm going to be, oh, I'm gonna yeah. be, I'm gonna be okay. out of town. Yeah, he's going out of town next week, so... The, the, we'll be able to film the Doctor Who one early in the week, but I'll be gone when we usually film the S.H.I.E.L.D. and South Park and so now the, the Rebels one, so... so. The, the S.H.I.E.L.D., the South Park, and Rebels will probably be a little late. But they'll probably be up before the next... They'll probably be up before the next episode, but probably going to be later in the week, um, because he's going out of town. Yeah, so... But we are still going to do a S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Rebels, and a South Park. South Park. But it's just going to be But later. it's going to be later in the week than yeah, normal. So, so, that's the plan. That's the plan. Stan, man, Iron Man, coffee can. Stop. Flan. S just stop. <laughs>